What's up everyone, welcome to Akuma's Arsenal, and today we are going to discuss how to develop your personal tastes with watches. Well, to start it off, uh, developing your personal taste doesn't start or end with watches. It's a pretty whole encompassing uh, thing. We're going to dive into a kind of holistic uh, refinement right now. Um, it really st starts from uh, continuous learning. Um, how can you appreciate uh, Inspector Gadget and all his cool little weird knickknacks that he has, right? His cool little inventions if you've never watched the show, right? So it starts off with learning. It starts off with watching the show, right? You observe other people. Um, my watch tastes uh, come from uh, a lot from TGV, actually. I mean, whose watch tastes TGV hasn't um, affected in some way, right? Uh, the Saab, for example. I would have never bought a Saab if, probably if, if TGV had, had never made his video about it, right? But I mean, okay, yes, style, I'm, I'm kind of been slacking, but that's because I had to move to my grandma's house, and yeah, you can only bring so much in a backpack and a duffel bag. However, um, you know, it, I'd say start with clothes, start with shoes, of course, take care of your hygiene, and then once you have all the basics covered, you have pretty good base knowledge of, uh, of things in general, I'm talking history, of this or that, then after you have that solid foundation, then I feel like you, sh you can start to move on to refine your taste about watches. So how do you do it? Besides learning and watching other people and, and you know learning about their tastes. Well, first with watches you really, it, you gotta you gotta figure out, okay, what are, what's necessary for me? Because if your lifestyle is, you're a, if you're a, a marine, chances are you're not going to be wearing a vintage Timex, right? So very, very basic stuff. Yes, you need to tailor the watch to your lifestyle, right? And if you're talking about collections, you need to have a, a collection that revolves around your lifestyle. So in an essence, the watch collection isn't based on your tastes. It's really based on your lifestyle. So, if you want to refine your watch collection, you first gotta refine yourself. Refine the things you do, and just know the person you are, right? Then from there, and for every little circumstance that you have, so let's say you're kicking it with friends, you're going out to dinner parties, and um, you're traveling the world, all right, let's say my budget is 10 grand for all this stuff, all right, let's go. Seiko Sarb, Rolex GMT, and an SKX. Boom, and you're done. And what you might be wondering to yourself now: How do you find those like weird little niches that you really like? For example, uh, TGV and his tutor, um, or me with my Vostok, or. Um, all of you guys have that one watch that you just feel like it's super duper under underappreciated. I mean, that just that just comes from just having a vast knowledge and picking out one thing and sticking with it. My uncle, for example, he's a designer. He's an entrepreneur, and he is kind of the one who kind of helped set me down the path of finding things that are made well, right? Uh, his pen, his backpack, his clothing, his watch. He, what he does is he finds that one thing in every little section of things that he wants. He picks one thing that fits his price range, his tastes, and he goes for it. I was talking watches with him the other day, right? And we're talking about, um, he was like, oh, what is that? I was watching one of the TGVs and he was like, oh, is that, is that the Omega Speedmaster? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started talking about watches and stuff, right? I'm like, oh, check out the Zen uh, 903 because you really want a he really wants a Breitling. He's like, oh, no, 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 it's too close to the Breitling. I feel like I just copied the design, which I totally understand. Um, we were talking, 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 and something that he really, really wants, he just really, really wants a slide rule bezel. That's that one thing that he has his mind fixated on. And I, he even tried on my star, but he was just like, and trust me, this guy, Mighty Nung, is a refined dude. He's entering his like late 30s now. And he, he put on the, um, on the, on my side, I was like, what the, he, he couldn't even, he couldn't even, uh, close the leather strap because he was like, ah, oh, it just didn't register in his head, like, this is definitely not my taste, 
So it really just starts from knowing what your lifestyle is, what kind of person you are, what do you want your watch to represent, or what's your price range, then going off on there. It's a very individualistic journey. Um, don't try to be anybody else because you are yourself and your watch collection is your watch collection. And whenever you do finish your watch collection, title it John's Watch Collection and shoot me the video and I'll watch it. <laughs> so, that's how you develop your watch tastes. Thank you for watching the video very much and Akuma out.